Hi, I'm Joe Witkowski. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make and install a light bar to match an existing medicine cabinet. First, measure the face frame of the cabinet. Then measure the box of the cabinet. Make sure you measure the height, the width, and the depth of the cabinet. Use a piece of scrap oak and stain it with several colors of stain to match your medicine cabinet. Next, I cut the parts for the box. I am using 3 quarter inch birch plywood for the box. Birch plywood is lightweight and very smooth for painting. I then cut the parts to size in a miter box. After I cut the parts, I glue and nail them together to form the box. Next, I will cut the piece of oak to size for the face of the light box. Sand the edges of the box with a block sander or a belt sander to make sure they're all level before you attach the face. Apply glue to the box. Before nailing the face to the box, make sure it's even on all four sides. Mark the edges of the plywood on the face so you know where to shoot the nails. Marking the box on the face is so you don't shoot nails out of the side of the box. Attach one corner first. Then double check your measurements and make sure the face is centered on the box. Then continue attaching the face to the box. Next, sand all the edges of the box with 80 grit sandpaper. After sanding with 80 grit, use a router to ease the edges of the face. After routing, finish sand the entire box with 120 and 220 grit sandpaper. Use compressed air to clean all the dust out of the box. Before staining and finishing the box, I set the box up to the medicine cabinet to make sure it's the right size and the routings match. Next, I'll stain the face of the light box. The stain that matched my medicine cabinet is a Midwax Cherry Gel Stain. After the stain is dry, I spray on a clear satin finish. After the first coat of clear is dry, use 220 sandpaper to lightly sand all of the finish. After you're done sanding, use compressed air to blow off all the dust. Spray on a second coat of clear satin. Allow the finish to dry thoroughly before mounting the light fixture to the box. Drying times may vary depending upon humidity and weather. I will fill the nail holes with putty after I've installed the light. Remove the chrome rings from the sockets. These hold the cover to the light fixture.
Remove the grounding screw from the light so the light kit will sit flat on the box. Center the light fixture on the box. Once the light is centered, mark the center hole and trace a line around the light fixture. I use a two and a half inch hole saw to draw out the center hole for the wiring. Next, mount a gem box to the light box. Before mounting the gem box, knock out one of the slugs on one of the small sides of the gem box. Before mounting the light fixture, you need to create a recess for the grounding screw. For this step, I used a spade bit. Now the fixture will lay flat to the surface of the light box. Next I will line the fixture up with the marks I made earlier and pre-drill the mounting holes. Mount the fixture to the box with inch and a quarter drywall screws. Install a Romex or flex connector to the gem box. It would be much easier to do this now before it is installed to the light box. Now I'm going to center the gem box over the two and a half inch hole I drilled earlier. Pre-drill four holes for mounting the gem box. Mount the gem box with half inch wood screws. This is what it should look like after it's installed. Before painting, I'm going to pre-drill four holes for mounting the box to the wall. Now I'm going to paint the box with bare ultra-white semi-gloss paint. Don't worry about getting too much paint on the oak. You will not see this once it's installed. After the first coat of paint dries, I fill the nail holes and seams with glazing putty. Now I apply the second coat of paint. After the second coat of paint is dry, the light box is ready to be installed. Join me next week when I show you how to wire and install the light box. Don't forget to subscribe and like me on Facebook. Until next time, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more how to ideas, visit my website at www.doityourselfwithjoe.com. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button to keep up to date with future videos. Also, visit and like me on Facebook.